Hi, I'm Mel. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and I welcome you to the third episode, yeah, third episode of my Craftsnoon Tea series. And in today's episode, if you want to call it this, in today's video, I am going to be making some pom-pom ice cream bunting. I, I would say it is a garland, so it's a garland with pom-poms hanging off that are ice creams. You will need some yarn. I found I found my pink and white yarn, which I think is from Poundland or Pound World, one of them. You'll need multicolored pom poms. That I thought was pink, clearly isn't. It's red. Um, or pom pom maker. If you haven't can't buy pom poms, you can just need wool and pom poms. And you need some gold or wafer kind of colour card. So I will show you the process as we go through. You'll also need a glue gun, hot glue gun, and that is pretty much it, some scissors. So I will show you that now. Okay, it's a different day now because my camera ran out of battery and yeah. So I've got my twine, I've got my hot glue gun on. I will try and find my Christmas, um, I'll try and find my Christmas pom-pom making for you and I'll link the video down below anyway for you but if you want to learn how to make a pom-pom I'll try and put a bit of the reindeer in, it's exactly the same it's exactly the same as the reindeer pom-poms, I'll try and put that bit of video in, if not be down below, we'll be down below anyway but I used the orange size of the hobby craft Pom pom maker, if you want to do the same, that's what that is. So, I've just made various pom poms um, of the same size, quite a lot of white. Again, you don't have to do this many. I'm doing this many purely because for another DIY for this project, I am going to need more pom poms, so that's why I'm just carrying on going. And um, I've got all different ones. I thought this was really cool because it looked like Stragglatelli, I think, is what it's called. This one because it's got like the pom pom, the bits of other colours in it. Yellows, pinks, reds, whites, you know, for vanilla and stuff. So I'm just going to wind out my twine now to, well, I'm not going to actually take it off. So the first thing, I put my glue gun on and instead of the gold card I got, I decided to go for this because I thought it would be easier. And it's more comb colour. This was 10 sheets from Hobbycraft today. You can tell it's been out in the shop because this bit's a little bit different coloured, but there we go. Now my, I've got a, a side plate. I'm not going to do the full side plate. I'm going to do just over, well, about half. And all you want to do is just draw like a semicircle. It may be trial and error, but that's about half the plate, I think. I'd say it's about half, it might be not, I'm just going to do it a little bit bigger, purely because you, I want the cone to be a good enough size to roll up basically. So I've drawn that with a pencil and then I'm going to cut this out. And I've drawn on the inside of the paper, like what would be the wrong side. Okay, and then this is just playing around really, trial and error, but all you need to do is just roll the cone up. This card seems quite thick, but just play around with it and it will go eventually. Obviously remember you've got to fit a pom-pom in, so allow for that. But, so I've done like... I don't know how to describe this for you. I've curved it round to what I think I want. So I'm just going to hot glue, or you could even use Pritt stick or whatever you want. I'm going to hot glue that round. Okay, so I don't know where the camera cut off, but what I've done is I've hot glued around where I reckon it is big enough to glue like a pom-pom in and obviously the cone needs to be 
the pom pom needs to be bigger and overflow because it makes effect. And then with the rest of this cone that we're making, I'm just going to wrap that round like that um, by adding a bit as each time it goes round basically of glue. So just glue a little bit each time. And that glue is really hot, so just be careful. In fact, you can see the steam coming off of it, so it's really hot. So that is the cone. Um, and now it's up to you if you do it them all like that. In fact, I'll show you one. I'm going to leave them rough edged because I think that's really cool. It's like more wafery. So this is how I'm going to have it. And then all you need to do is stick, decide what pom poms you want and stick them on like that and then onto the thread. So I'm going to go around the top of the cone. Like so. And it may be that you end up sticking a bit of the pom pom as well. So I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with a, like a red cherry one. I've not actually trimmed the pom poms up either because I just thought that added a little bit more fun to it, especially for a child's party. But again, I hope to use this more and more. But that's like the first ice cream. So I've literally just place the pom-pom on top of the hot glue basically around the cone and that's one and with that I'm going to have a plain like vanilla one on the top because I just think that's fun so for that I literally I'm just going to put a blob I need to get some more glue in there and then stick it on top again if you wanted to trim it like this bit here you can but that is how they are I'm gonna stick them all on the end at the end once I finish so I'll show you how to do that in a minute um, I'm just gonna make some more cones first but that is your ice cream but yeah I'll be back once I've done more okay so now we've got our array of pom-pom ice cream to actually look so good I'm gonna probably leave that much from the end and then I'm just going to start by sticking them on so right that guys what I'm going to do is do a blob in the middle of this and then stick it in does that make sense I'll show you anyway and then aim a bit because I let go stick that in but you want to use whatever it doesn't matter what but at the end of your pencil to stick it down a bit just so that the string you can still see it but it's not sticking out the top as much so that's the first one and then taking another gap whatever you want before you put another one in and then I'm going to try and not put any together that are similar basically this one looks like it needs some more glue here so you just need to play around with it really so first of all I'm going to stick that and then Okay, so they're all stuck on now, and then with my scissors, I'm just going to measure off roughly the same length as I did the other end, and just cut that. Then I'm going to try and hang this somewhere so you can see it better, um, and then you can see the final look. I'm not sure where I'm going to hang it yet, but I will try and hang it somewhere and show you. So I've just hung it up on my TV, TV cabinet just so you can see it, but this is it. You probably can see my shadow because I've got the ring light behind me, but isn't that cute? 
as well as like bunting or garland but there is the finished thing so that is it for today's video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you would make this bunting if so what colors or flavor ice cream would you make i really like the white wool with the flecks of like pinks and like pastel colors really i really like that i don't know really what ice cream that would be but i really like that and i also like the bright red and i like the what well, actually i like it all but please also subscribe push that notification bell to see when i post thanks for watching see you next saturday for the next episode in this series bye